Oh hey, Jimmy here. Hey worship leader, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I had my Helix at an event not long ago and I was setting up all my songs on one snapshot for each set. See, if you don't know, uh, when you go from preset to preset on the Helix, you lose your sound, it cuts it out. If you didn't know that, now you know. Uh, so one way to get around that is to never leave your preset. And you don't have to leave your preset because we have snapshots. What are snapshots, Jimmy? Well, snapshots allow you to take everything in your signal chain, brrr, all my stuff there, and allows me to decide in the moment what I want to do with them with just one click. I can change a bunch of things. Now, you can get crazy, but what I do is I keep it pretty simple, and I just go to my delays, and, uh, well, first of all, I go to global settings. Let me teach you. Go to the hamburger menu right here and go to the last knob and press it, you're at global settings. Then I go over to MIDI tempo and I do tempo select per snapshot. That way each snapshot can already be a predetermined BPM. Cool, Jimmy. Now, if you just have to go to a different preset, there is a way you can do spillover per preset. You go over to preferences, click the page over, and you can do preset spillover. Wow, sounds like magic, but what that does is it takes away uh, your whole bottom line here. So basically you're just using one DSP chip instead of two, and you're basically turning your Helix into an HX stomp, which is still not bad, it's great. So if you don't have super complex um, presets and you can get everything to fit on this top line, which is actually more than the HX stomp because you can fit more blocks than you can in the stomp stuff. So still not that bad. It's great. So if you don't want to mess with snapshots, just go do what I just showed you. But I like having nice complex uh, presets with a bunch of different things. So uh, we're not going to use that. We're going to use a snapshot per song. I just showed you how to update the BPM. So when I go home, I can see all my effects that I can turn on and off. I hit mode, I can see all my different snapshots. And when I go to each different snapshot, my BPM changes with the BPM of the song. So I'll show you here, 74 on that one, 78 on that one, 70 on that one, 71, 122, and you know, some different ones. Now, no matter what song or snapshot I go to, uh, I can have things change automatically, turn on and off. I can have parameter adjustments change. I got plenty of videos on this channel, but there's one thing I wanna show you today. The one main reason is you might be saying, Jimmy, I see that you named your snapshots the names of the songs. Yes, I did. How do you do that? Well, you can just simply do it on HX Edit, but if you're not hooked up to a computer or you might change uh, songs on the fly, how do you go about doing that? Well, you need to press the preset knob and it brings up this whole list here, but over here on the knobs, if you never notice, it says rename snapshot. You can select your snapshot right here, selecting which one you want, and then you just click on it. So right up here, I have one called song six. Let's change snapshot seven to song seven. You have the little wheel dial here, S is already there, and then you just use this one knob to like a joystick, and then you turn it and keep going until you're done. So let's go to in, Boom, song one right there, okay. Now I go back home, it changed it to song one. I meant to say song seven. Oh well, well, well let's do it. Preset, rename, scroll over. There we go, song six, song seven. I wanna change the, uh, the BPM of song seven. Put your finger on the tap switch and dial it into whatever you want. This song happens to be 83 BPM. Cause that's the year I was born. Double click the save button, it saves it, just like that and then you're free to play whatever you want.
right, there you go. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get this preset and many, many others that sound just like it, check out my Expanse pack. What is the Expanse pack, Jimmy? Well, it's an ever-growing collection of presets. It's like a subscription. You know what I like about subscriptions is that you keep getting new things over and over again. You know what I don't like about subscriptions is that you keep, you have to pay like monthly. Well, this is a subscription that you only have to pay once. Ever-growing collection of presets you pay once. Click the link down in the description. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, share, all the things. See you in the next video. Bye.